Right, so the first item I want to show you is a very new type of radio handheld pendant to operate with Mac 3. Um, this one's quite special. It actually has a rubber boot as well for protection. Um, so if you do happen to drop it, um, you've got some chance of it surviving the drop. It's actually got a magnetic mount as well. Um, and this one I actually use myself. Um, the company that designs this um, has done a really, really good job um, in making this foolproof. Uh, it doesn't get, um, shall we say, affected by other radio signals around it. Um, and it's very, very manageable. And I'd like to say it's uh, an entirely different unit than what uh, I was using on my first CNC router where that one was a bit jumpy and I didn't altogether like it. This one is a totally different animal, I can tell you. I really love it. So the first operation you need to do is reference your home position for your machine coordinates. Uh, the machine will do that automatically, uh, but first you'll find the reset button here flashing. So we'll just click on the reset button to reset Mac 3. A Mac 3 will give you a warning sign that uh, it is now connected to the CNC router. all referenced to zero. Okay so what we're going to do now, I'm going to be using my pendant because I'm quite a distance away from uh, my laptop computer. Um, we are going to set up for an imaginary uh, piece of work now. We're going to set, off a, set up a work offset because at the moment the machine is in the machine home position which is normally the area where you change a tool so you can actually see this too on video number 148 I go into quite a bit of detail about how to do this so first of all move the X over it's got a bit quietly this is very very uh, precise um, pendant it's the best pendant that I've actually come across. You can very move it with very high precision or very quickly if you wish to. But uh, just give you an example. That's moving five thousandths of an inch at a time. Um, it's coming up on millimeters here, but anyway very very good pendant okay z a little bit I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to use the automatic uh, tool setting to do the z um, but first of all, we'll set the home. We'll set the. But first of all, we'll set the work offset uh, manually, which is very easily to, done. So we'll we'll come down with the Z a little bit, like that. A bit of Y. Quieten that down a bit. Let's just say we are there. I'm just going to go over to the computer and set the uh, X. Well, actually, I'll 
I'll put the camera up so you see see what I'm doing there. Okay, and you'll notice that all I do is come over the. Um, let's see what one we're doing. We're doing x and y, x zero, y zero. So now we're going to set the Z with the machine automatic Z setting tool. So you just press the function key and 9. This will slowly come down. When the tool touches the top of this sensor, it will register to Mark 3 and automatically 0. Well, actually, it will register 15.3 millimeters. It'll show you that it is registered plus 15.3. So the piece of wood or the piece of work is actually 15.3 millimeters below that setting and it's registered that's where the zero point of it is. Uh, I want to show you another item with Mark 3. How to operate or jog around jog the machine around with the keyboard and it's very simple you just press the up down arrow side to side so that's X plus minus and this is Y and the Z to operate the Z so it's page up page down it's as simple as that so what we're going to do is go page up and incidentally if you that at the moment is running at half jog speed. If you want to run at full jog speed, you press shift and then the arrow key and it runs uh, at full jog speed. So I'll just jog it over to uh, the uh, machine offset area or machine uh, home position. Within Mark 3, there is uh, quite a few wizards. Um, there's a, a big list of wizards. Now, if you go to my uh, video number 99, uh, that goes into some great detail of how to fill the wizard dialog box in and um, how to create a G-code using a wizard in Mac 3 and um, you'll be up and running in no time. So I hope you've liked the video today of commissioning uh, this machine. It's fairly easy actually. This, it's not rocket science and um, if you did please press like, subscribe to my channel little red box down in that corner that will take you to my YouTube channel where there's many videos now on Mac 3 at cam um, at cam standard the new program uh, I really recommend that um, and different jobs I do around here making children's toys and um, a bit of furniture making and 3D printing, this goes on quite a bit, but uh, I'm sure there's something there for everyone. So, for me now, it's bye for now. Let's just see if that's recording. Oh, yeah. The next thing I want to show you, you no, know, I will It'll come later. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set the machine up for an imaginary... Ah, oh, shit. 
Okay, so what you do uh, with using this particular pendant as well, uh, you can either choose to do it within uh, Mac 3 or you can do this particular job. I'll just rest that there a minute. What you need to do is probe, probe, so you function key, probe. Mac 3 is just set up at a warning that. direction.